So hi guys, my name is Johnston. Today I'm gonna do two audition applications. I'm gonna do P Nation audition application and Play This Entertainment audition application. So I have also done a variety of applications online for K-pop auditions. So do take a look at them and also so do take a look at this video where I talk about what you should put in all five categories. So you should know what you should put in the videos before starting up in this application. So for P Nation, uh, let me do a slight introduction. So P Nation is actually founded by Sai. You should all know Sai from his famous Oppa Gangnam Style video and also that. He he has recruited many famous artists that you have heard before. Kuna, Edon, Crush, and recently Jesse. So these are the, the rebels of this entertainment industry. And I think that they are really unique in their own way. So if I were to audition for P Nation, right, I would not be like soft spoken or whatever. I'll be like really straightforward. I'll be like really loud and I'll be like really in the face. I'll be really unique. I will try to like have a message or character that's really strong because I think that that's what they like and this is what the artist are like they all have their own mindset they all have their own thinking so I'm thinking that if you were to do songs do songs with souls like you know like Ailey or you do Hyorin or maybe if you were Zico songs or you can also do like um, guys that belt like high note uh, like K-Will you know do songs like that I think this will do really well for them and I think that they are looking for like powerhouse and they are looking for people with character so if I were to audition for P Nation this is what I would do so let me just tell you guys how you should audition for P Nation so all you need to do is go to their website, Pination, and then if you guys don't know Korean, it's okay. There's an English option at the top, so you can just convert everything to into English, and then this is what you would see. So of course, this is a global audition, and in this video, Sai did mention that his there's no restriction to any age, gender, and nationality. So everyone is welcome as long as you are talented, you can join. So just do drop them an email of what you guys will be doing, and also there's an application at the bottom. So do scroll down, and you'll see an application at the bottom. So this is what you should see in the application. Also do take note that you have to show your talent in one to three minutes so remember to include your introduction and of course your performance and of course a closing in one to three minutes. So when you open up the application form this is how it looks like. So this is quite simple okay. So all you need to do is just put in your name, your gender, the date of birth, your height and weight, your school and occupation and the category that you're gonna choose. So you just put that simply and then you need to put your address. So the address is where you are staying right now. I guess they just want to know if you are in Korea or not and how they will actually determine um, whether they should call you or they should see you face to face or online this is what you should put and of course your cell phone number your email and your SNS so SNS is your social media so I have many questions telling me whether I should like um, put my social media like my Instagram that is um, private so should I give them my private account I would say just open up your public account they want to see your SNS because they want to see what kind of pictures you post like, and what kind of interactions you do so they just want to see if you are well established or not if you're not it's fine but don't give a private account because they can't see anything from it okay so next is your career your self introduction your talent so just say what you have been doing maybe uh, you are a model or you are a singer or dancer or you have been in a crew you have taken part in certain competitions or you have been in cover of certain magazines or whatsoever or you have been in other talent shows or maybe other audition experience that like you have done JYP audition you have done BeLive audition you have done um, YG SM entertainment auditions how far have you gone to and this is what you should include and then all you need to do is just sign and put your name and contact so at the bottom all you need to do is just put the date and the signature so what I'll do is I'll print this out write everything because there's a signature all you need to do is write everything up sign it and then you just scan it or take a nice photo of it and then attach this to your email together with your video that you're gonna send of your category and then send them to this respective email so this is all you need to do and you will be applied for P Nation audition isn't that simple and then we'll move on to the next audition so we're gonna move on to Pledis Entertainment and for Pledis Entertainment as you guys know we need to always analyze the company their famous artists in their company are like newest after school and also hello Venus as you guys can know from this um, lineup of artists right they are somewhat like big hit they are like sweet lovable idols they are like boy or girl next door so if you want to participate in Pledis Entertainment I think that it would be better if you could do your audition that is catered slightly towards that way so if you are a girl you can try to use songs from my like SNSD, G Friend uh, other sweet concepts from other K-pop idols and if you are a boy I think that it will be nice if you can sing some ballads that are kind of like sweet and also if you can go towards like bright sunshine and like colourful kind of concepts I think they might like this as well so this is just based on the type of trainees that they are collecting 
So I think that um, maybe for guys you can go towards like Beast Beautiful or like Shiny Hello This kind of song and dance, maybe this will like appeal to them, this is just my opinion how I would dress up if I had to go for an audition for like Playdays Entertainment, this is what I would do. And uh, I know it's not recommended to really have coloured hair, but I just did a coloured hair recently. So if you guys have seen it, this is actually the makeup that I've done for Subin from TXT. And yeah, so this is uh, the kind of sweet, lovable kind of idea of an idol that I think that this would work. And also this is what I think I can recommend to you guys. And so I'm just going to look at how are we going to apply for the application. So for Playdays Entertainment, right, you go to the Playdays Entertainment website and then there's actually an application like word document that you need to download and this is what it looks like so honestly it's not very difficult all you need to do is fill out your particulars so let me just go through any other like um, interesting particulars that you guys see that you guys don't know how to apply for so I'm just gonna go through quickly okay so for the audition application you just need to enter your name your gender your nationality your school or job your category so remember there are like five categories that you can choose from and if you don't know what to do in these videos you can also look at my other videos I have told you what to do specifically in each video so um, and then the date of birth height and weight, cell phone, extra number if you need to, maybe you can put your guardian's number and also braces. So this is something special like um, normally people have never asked about braces before so in Pledis Entertainment they want to see whether you have braces and maybe this will be taken into consideration. An address and SNS. Okay so there, there are three parts that are slightly different. So they have talents, activities and awards and audition experience. So obviously talents is what you can actually do and like maybe you're really flexible or you're good at a certain sport or you have uh, a skill in like um, don't know, makeup, dressing, you can catwalk, you can post really well, just put all of that in and if activities and awards, um, if you have gotten any awards anywhere so you can just put them down maybe you have been like the cover of blah 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 you have won a competition, a singing competition, a dancing competition, a modeling competition just put all of that in and then audition experience so this is something very different because you can try to tell them what, how many experience you had uh, maybe you can say you had online audition experience with JYP online auditions with YG you have online auditions with BeLive so you can just put all of that in so I think it's a good thing that if you can put all of that in because this lets them know that you are an audition veteran you're not a newbie and you know what to expect and also you know what to actually put for your audition and also so remember to also put the year, month and day that you have um, signed this up for. Maybe just write today's date is October 15, like 2020 and then you're just gonna sign your name and then you can write everything out and then you can just scan it in and then use it as a PDF for this. If there is a signature, I think that it would be better if you could print everything out and then you could just um, sign it and then scan it. And also the final part, they ask you to attach a picture and video as a separate file from this. So uh, what you need to do is, as usual, you just need to um, upload photos. So maybe for a photo example, I'll use something like this. So this is just to recognize who you are. You can also do a full body photo as well. And also for a video, you just need to put whatever category that you have applied for. And then all you need to do is just um, put them all together in an email and send it back to their email over here. That's all I have for Playlist Entertainment. It's not really very difficult. So it's kind of clear cut. Um, so the only advice that I can give is that try to go towards sweet and like lovable of course if you have some spice and you have some spunk and some swag don't just follow my recommendation okay you can just be yourself as well but I think that maybe it will be better if you can show your softer side on top of your swag side because if you are so swag and I don't really know if you can fit into the category of the boy group or the girl group so this is just my opinion I hope that you guys can just listen to this and that's all I have for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video do give me a like and also comment down below what kind of other K-pop auditions you would like to know and so please subscribe to me I'm so close to 10,000 and I'm closer and closer to 10,000 because of you guys so remember to subscribe to me and on that notification bell so you know when my next video will be uploaded so I'll see you guys in my next video bye